The Monkey King suddenly jumped out of the cave. Because that man picked a lotus flower with his hand, the Monkey King threw him off the cliff and then caught him before he fell down. Then, the Monkey King pulled out the man's hair with a few strokes. At that moment, the man's to helpers came. Heavenly Crippled Foot used a spell to make his feet super big. With a sweeping kick, the Monkey King retreated for a few meters. Then, Sky Crippled Foot was going to crush the Monkey King with his feet. He didn't expect the Monkey King to be invincible. His foot was pierced through a hole. At that moment, Master Emptiness suddenly appeared. He took out his Peachwood Sword to deal with the Monkey King. When Master Emptiness saw that one sword was useless, he threw out dozens of swords. Master Emptiness controlled the sword and slashed at the Monkey King. The Monkey King couldn't dodge and his hair was cut off. He was furious and took out his golden rod. All the swords were knocked away. At this time, Prince Hollow used his full strength. Dozens of swords joined together and stabbed at the Monkey King's chest. Unexpectedly, the Monkey King was very strong. He summoned his real body and shattered the swords.